HPCC Systems High Performance Computing Cluster Architectural Overview Part 2 The Middleware In this video we're going to focus on the HPCC middleware layer. Now that includes the, the servers that you see here and the Enterprise Services Platform. The HPCC environment contains a number of system servers which act as a gateway between the clusters Thor and Roxy and the outside world. These system servers are often referred to collectively as the HPCC middleware. They include the system data store or the Dolly server, the archiving server or Sasha, the distributed file utility also known as the DFU server, the ECL compiler, executable code generator, and job server is collectively known as the ECL server. And the intercomponent communication server, which is called the ESP server, and we'll cover this in more detail in our next video in this series. Let's start with Dolly. Dolly again is the system data store. It manages work unit records. Work unit records are essentially jobs that are sent to the cluster to act upon the data that's there. The logical file directory, of course, that's where the data re actually resides. And shared object services, libraries, and other components that help the HPCC to do its job better. Dolly is also used to configure the environment and maintain the message queues that drive job execution and scheduling. It also enforces the LDAP security restrictions for data file scopes and work unit scopes. LDAP is short for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Now the next thing we want to look at is Sasha. Again, Sasha and Dolly work together. Sasha is the archiving server that supports Dolly. It is a companion housekeeping server, works independently of all other components, allowing a restart to happen at any time without interfering with jobs in flight. But Sasha's main function is to reduce the stress on the Dolly server whenever possible. Sasha also archives work units, including DFU work units, which are stored in a series of folders. They can be restored and manually moved to an alternate or even an off-site location. Sasha also reduces the resource utilization on Dolly and removes cache work units and DFU recovery files. Now the next middleware piece that we want to look at is called the DFU or distributed file utility. The DFU server controls the spraying and despraying operations used to move data onto and out of Thor. DFU services are available from three sources. First, the ECL IDE using service libraries in ECL code. Second, the ECL Watch web-based utility. And third, the DFU command line interface, also known as DFU+. The next middleware component that we want to look at is the ECL server. The ECL server is the code generator and compiler that translates ECL code. When work units are submitted for execution on Thor, they are first converted to executable code by the ECL server. For Roxy, this process is done at deployment time so that a query can be compiled only once but then executed multiple times. The ECL server also is used when the ECL IDE requests a syntax check. It also uses a queue in order to convert work units one at a time. However, there may be multiple ECL service servers deployed in the system to increase your throughput and they will automatically load balance as required. The ECL server is also responsible for starting the ECL agent process to execute work units that target Thor or the ECL agent. So that's a quick look at our middleware for HPCC. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three.